The 2024 USL League One season is here. A revamped league structure, new clubs, players, and a blank league table welcome us to the sixth season of the USL League One. I'm Jack Edwards, absolutely delighted to bring you Lexington Sporting Club hosting the Northern Colorado Hailstorm presented by UK Healthcare. Let's kick off the new year with what happened last year. First off in their first ever professional season for Lexington. Finished ninth in the league and they had some off-season tweaks moving Sam Stockley from the head coach role to sporting director and bringing in Darren Powell back to League One from Inter-Miami. And some new faces as well to introduce. Making the trip up I-64 is Cameron Lancaster, all-time leading goal scorer for Louisville City and third all-time in the USL Championship level will make his USL League One debut today. A dominant performer last year for Madison in League One was Jaden Onan, had seven assists. His creativity paired with Lancaster's goal scoring on paper, it's a very threatening prospect. And when you add that to Atez Juf, it's gonna be a lethal Lexington attack and their why. That, that attack is why they have a lot of people picking them as preseason favorites. As for Northern Colorado, an all-time season for them in 2023, third place, but they lost their two best performers. Trevor Amon broke the league record with 23 goals, and Rogers, back-to-back -back defender of the year, both of them moving to the championship in the offseason. They've hit the offseason market, and they brought in Jake Keegan on loan from one Knoxville, was one of the leading goal scorers for them in their debut campaign. 33 years of age, he knows how to put the ball in the back of the net. They'll pair him up with Irvin Para, who's back full-time this season. David Garcia as well scored a brace against Northern Colorado in the playoffs, and they brought him in the back line. They've got them on the bench for today's matchup against Lexington. It's going to be a great one from Toyota Stadium in Georgetown, Kentucky. Well, match week one of the USL League One season is here, and it's coming up to you on ESPN Plus after this break. Lexington is the Kentuckiest place in the world. Just look at it. It's by far the bluegrassiest, the bourbonist. See? The artsiest. And hands down, the horsiest. Oh, look, that one has a baby. I don't know why you would look anywhere else. Looking for the coolest, most Kentuckiest getaway? Look at Lexington. Girls like you aren't runners, they said. Well, I wasn't. Let's go ahead and get some pictures of that knee, okay? Six months, down the drain. Give up. Keep the rhythm going. Or get up. Perfect. Who's not a runner now? Yeah, you don't have to be an elite athlete to be treated like one. UK Healthcare Orthopedic Surgery and Sports Medicine, the power of advanced medicine. They're hungry for the women's game. They want to see women's soccer. They want to play women's soccer. And that's what we're building at the USL. We all have goals. But let's be honest, most of us aren't going to be professional athletes. But if your goal is to finish your degree, we can help. Come to a university that puts your goals first. Bellevue University, your partner in finishing goals. Back at Toyota Stadium for the first time in 2024. Last season, these two sides splitting the season series. One win, one draw, and one win apiece. As we enter into 2024, and the first lineups for Darren Powell. Let's take a look at what they're bringing out. It's a 3-5-2 formation. They give us a fascinating midfield there. You see Cameron Lancaster wearing the captain's armband up front. That midfield trio, Nico Brown, Yannick Yankum, and Tate Robertson. On paper, incredibly interesting. Robertson playing as a right back right mid last year had eight assists in 2023 we'll see how they end up breaking out in this one really fascinating on paper we'll see how Lexington break out especially just where the players will fit on the field a fascinating look for them another three at the back formation for Northern Colorado the captain for them Irvin Apara leading the way to get his first start of 2024 a few new faces Bruno Rendon and Lucky Oprah some consistency on the wing back roles 
both of them could be really up there for Defender of the Year nominees and Irvin Para between those two seasons, 13 goals, the majority of them coming back in 2022, beat cancer in 2023, and Eamon says he's ready to come back and lead the way for the hailstorm. He's joined by Powder and Gill up front. They're in their white kits getting ready to go in this one. It's a revamped league structure, mentioned it in the open. Just 22 league matches this season. Every single game, every single point is, is vital. 66 points is the maximum allowed. You can see him right there. One of the biggest names to ever play in League One, Cameron Lancaster. Multiple 20-goal campaigns at the USL Championship level. We'll see what he can do now that he's playing. For maybe an in-state rival joining Lexington. So yeah, Tez, do you bottom right of your screen? Another key performer. It's going to be a great season for Lexington. Gary Gutierrez is our head official. We're just waiting for his signal. We get it, and we're underway for 2024 from Toyota Stadium. Jack Edwards with you here. It's going to be fascinating to see just how Lexington, in their black kits, the green through the middle, and they're breaking out in this one. Kept in play by Powder. Nods that back to Bruno Rendon. Malo Delgado has it at his feet. See the records for last year for first off Lexington. Seven wins, ninth place as that one sprayed out of play by Breck Evans. They missed the playoffs in their first campaign and first ever playoff appearance for Northern Colorado. They beat forward Madison. Lost in the next round to North Carolina FC, who went on to win the whole thing and then move on to the USL Championship. Lancaster, some of his first touches, plays it back to Jorge Corrales. One, two along the touchline. And Doan knocks out a play under the pressure of Nico Brown. Corrales tossing it in. Robertson. Trying to pick out his teammate there. Just too strong on the pass, and it goes out of play. You can see Tate Robertson on paper in these first minute and a half here, given a lot of license to roam. Played as a right back and a right mid and a 4-4-2 under Sam Stockley in 2023. And Colorado defensively were fantastic last year. Delgado led the league in clean sheets with 13 of them, as did the side in general across the league. It helped to propel them to a best ever league finish, points-wise and position-wise. Brown's header attacked. Rendon gets there. Langlois making his first touches. And Hailstorm White. Pass just too heavy for Danny Robles. And it's all the way back to Amal Knight. You see the all time meeting in the top left of your screen. A win, a draw and a win for Northern Colorado Lexington. So they make their fourth ever meeting between these two sides. Northern Colorado will be on the road for quite a bit this season. At least to start it off. First home game is going to be May 25th. Lexington with a chance to host here. They'll host on Friday as well as a follow-up. Taking on Chattanooga. They'd love to get off to a strong start under Darren Powell as he returns to League One. Coached Inter Miami 2 when they were at this level. They were called Fort Lauderdale CF at that point. There's Nico Brown. Some early possession for Lexington in the first three minutes of this one. Corrales, Knight, and Lancaster, part of a three man captain group. Lancaster has the armband on. But Darren Powell saying all three are going to be vitally important to things this year. Kicked off the face of Lancaster. Yanko to Duf. That's a foul. Early opportunity here. Atez Duf, maybe his first touch of the season. He's fouled by the opposing number seven. Another new signing for Northern Colorado, Real Gill. Gill making his first appearances in the United States. Played in Trinidad and Tobago. He's made six appearances for the national team and scored a goal in a friendly against St. Martin back in January of 2013. 2023, I should say. So you see Lancaster and Robertson over it. 
would likely project you have someone to strike it towards goal in Lancaster and someone to try and assist it in Robertson. But Robertson moves off of it and it's the captain over it. Cameron Lancaster from distance. Had a bit of bend to it, but Delgado was comfortable to see it wide of goal. First shot of the year for either side, well for Lexington. Let's see it again. Both coaches mentioning Lancaster when talking to them ahead of this one. For Northern Colorado, they know they need to limit his space pretty much within 25 yards of goal, Eamon Zayed said. And the flip side for Darren Powell and Lexington is just try and get him the ball in a bit of space. So it's that constant battle of just trying to constantly monitor the experienced forward while Lancaster tries to create the space for himself. Thumping header away. No foul from behind, says the referee. Oprah can't get a foot through it. And a chance now for Christian Lou Young to make his first contributions to the match. Robertson presses the loose touch and wins it back. Yankum back to Robertson. Corrales tries probing one, picks out Duf. Duf wants the run and it's well picked out. Corrales towards goal. It's awkward. Oh, and almost bent in. Delgado, grateful to see that one go wide of his goal. Hey fans, welcome to the 2024 USL kickoff presented by Terminix. Throughout the month of March, the USL will be kicking off across the country. Join us for all of the action on ESPN and CBS Sports platforms. Storm going long. Parra was the man in the area. He didn't challenge for it. Yankum. It's a great pass to pick out Nico Brown. He's one on one with Bruno Rendon. He puts a foot in, pokes it out, and it's a throw for the hosts. Jorge Corrales. Fascinating acquisition, playing for Tulsa from 2021 to 2023. Mentioned it already, but Lexington went aggressive in the market this offseason, bringing in 14 new faces. Bit of afters there, Rendon poked it out of play and then brought down Nico Brown. Referee obviously giving a throw in, we'll see if the free kick was given as well, but Lexington's regardless. See it again, obviously poking the ball out there. Maybe a bit of acting from Brown, but Rendon definitely not covered himself in glory. It is a throw for Lexington nonetheless. Brown trying to split two defenders. He does just that. Yankum trying to get it back to him. He'll keep it. Yannick Yankum into the 18. Oh, just a coming together between him and Brown, his own man. Couldn't get the space he wanted. It's part of that betting in process that both teams will go through as they try and get themselves acclimated. Shortened preseasons for both sides. trying to attack that one. Rendon nods it back to Breck Evans. His clearance is blocked and it spins awkwardly, but lucky Oprah can put a foot through it. It's it for Duf. He can hold it up. He'll receive it back. See the top left of your screen, some injury updates into this one as a free kick is given. He's brought to you by UK Healthcare. Michael Agbula, as well as Ebi Akbon are out. Unreported for Northern Colorado, but some early season limitations. Billy King, Marky Hernandez, Enoch Kwakwa, and Jackson Dietrich all expected to have bigger roles throughout the campaign, but just not quite ready for this one to start the year off.
Lexington enjoying the lion's share of possession to start this match off. Here's Abel Caputo. It's a really impressive pass into some space. Can Roberts to pick anybody out? Doesn't go for the first time ball. Still in around the 18, back to Caputo. Juf on the right foot. His first shot of the year goes wayward. Still waiting for our first shot on target for either side. Juf coming off a record year for himself with 15 goals. And his first shot of the new campaign here. Really, you don't want to give him that much space on top of the 18. He's proven lethal. He scored a hat trick in a 4-3 win for Lexington over Northern Colorado in 2023 in Windsor. Press of chest control by Para, but they haven't quite gotten him involved in things. Para, the 30-year-old, scores goals anywhere he goes. Scored 12 goals back in 2022, the first season for Northern Colorado. Missed much of 2023 as he underwent treatment for testicular cancer. Beat that, scored on the final game of the regular season. And he's back starting the fresh campaign. Even Zayat says the talent hasn't gone anywhere. They're getting him back to full fitness and full levels. So they get the side geared up for the new season. Fox plays it across the back line. Mendez, Modesto Mendez that is. A mall night. Four clean sheets in 2023. Lexington loves to be cleaning up the defensive side of things a little bit more. Fox. Trying to have some tight interplay on that right-hand side. Touch just too heavy by Cameron Lancaster. Mendez all the way back to Knight. Over 70% possession in these opening 12 minutes for Lexington. Corrales back to Knight. Fox. Corrales. Plays to the feet of Brown. His pass taken away. Danny Robles trying to slide in. He will do well to win that back. Gill. Has a teammate with him. Does he go himself? Powder in a bit of space on the right-hand side. He's got it. Overlapping run from Rendon. Low shot. Oh, just there. Off the upright. Noah Powder so close to the first goal of 2024. That one agonizingly just wide. Dragged it. Knight had no chance for it. Let's see it again. Really great touch to get it out of his feet. And that shot, no chance for Knight. That's just a few inches to the left. That's nicking the upright and going in. Noah Powder. Being given some more attacking license as a right winger in this formation. He's back in the ball now. Great pass to Powder, to Rendon, I should say. Back to Powder. Referee getting in the center of things. Gives a brief apology to Powder. Oprah making a run for Gill. Tries to just probe one, but it's behind Para. Nico Brown can collect. Best moments of the match for Northern Colorado coming there. In transition on the break. Mendez, you see him put his hands down, trying to say, let's just calm down a little bit. It was a pretty controlled opening 12 minutes until Noah Powder almost broke the game wide open. Moment of magic. Mendez given time to pick out a pass. Aiming long for Lancaster, he competes for it, and it sets kindly for Juf. Rendon has it taken away. Powder, trying some step overs. Referee keeping his whistle out of his mouth, letting the players play. Both sides appealing for some fouls in the last few moments.
Here's Brown. That one will be called a foul. Danny Robles visually frustrated with that one. Gary Gutierrez judging that he fouled Yannick Yanko. Select is the official match ball supplier of the USL and many elite leagues throughout Europe. Visit us.select-sport.com for the latest select products, specials, and more. Select is the player's choice. Kalen Fox returning for year number two in Lexington. Made 31 appearances last year. Still looking for a first goal for the experienced center back. 28 years of age. He is from Louisville. It's a foul called. Another one given against Northern Colorado. Lexington clearly big focus for them building out from the back. This is the first chances for Darren Powell to see his teams play in action, in competitive play. Five preseason games. A pair of double headers up to this point for Lexington. Nice turn by Gill. Bit of strength to hold the ball up. Oprah. Rendon. Thought about a pass to Cello Martinez, but opted not to. Martinez coming in from forward Madison. Another Madison player from last season in this match on the bench for Lexington is Jaden Onan. Mentioned him in the open, just the utter wealth of options that Lexington has. It's quite frankly frightening. Some preseason polls and selections. Lexington is the favorite to finish atop the league in the playoffs, and that is in large part due to the great investment they've made into their first team, making investment into the club as well. They're set to move into a stadium later this year in the Lexington area. See about 5,500 people aiming to expand up to 11,000. Chipped into the box. Rendon has to be careful. I don't think he caught it the way he wanted to. It's cleared out of play for a corner. Looked a little nervy at the end. And it's going to be a chance for Lexington to put one into the box. The UK Healthcare corner kick. The first one of the season. Tate Robertson, the leading assister from 2023, will be the man to take it. Robertson to take. Aiming for the back post. Was there a foul in the box? There was. It was against Modesto Mendez, it appeared. Going a bit too aggressively through the back of his opponent. Knocks down Bruno Rendon, and then a free kick is given. Let's see it again. First corner of the match. Robertson, a dangerous delivery. Don't want to give him too many chances to put one into the box. And you see the elbow put out by Mendez into the back of Rendon. Referee correctly adjudging that one as a foul. Listed as a back three on paper, appears to have broken out to be more of a back four with Caputo bumped up into a number six defensive midfield role rather than playing as one of the back three. But we'll see if that's just a temporary game state. Really hard to gauge. Well, we'll see Rocks the entire season. It's just 18 minutes into a new season. Lancaster conceding possession. Really is a quite dangerous foursome up front. Yankum, Lancaster, 
Jufe and Brown. A lot of goals, a lot of capacity for runners from deep, especially if Lancaster kind of hold up play up front. Unique Yankum coming in from Malta. They're hopeful that he can be a big contributor this season. Headed out of play, towering header by Fox. A bit of territorial gain and a chance for Martinez to control the opposing half. That one knocked away. Evans had to be smart on it. it was. Johnny Fenwick, rather, and he plays it out to Lucky Oprah. Oprah gets there before Robertson. Poor touch, though, and that one runs out of play. Maybe been a bit of confusion with the lines. There's the white line right next to the yellow line, but plain to the yellow line. The temporary home here at Georgetown College for Lexington, building their own soccer stadium that's in great development. Hopeful to have that one ready for the USL Super League season, set to launch in August. They got a women's team in Lexington as well. We will use it for the men's program as well. Mendez. Fox. He's going to try one. It's a dangerous pass. Juf is going to get there. Knocked out of play. Wanted a throw, but Breck Evans will not get one. Evans will play a big role this season. Rob Cornwall moving on. He made 17 starts. Evans did last season. He'll be tasked with more this year. Robertson, first time shot. It's tame. It's the first one on target, though, of 2024. And it's saved by Lalo Delgado. You can see the confidence they have in him, though. Tate Robertson, you bring in all these new players, and it's not to push him out of the 18, it's actually to put him into a more advanced position. Christian Liu Young perhaps can fill that right back role that he had at times last season. He also operated as a left back, and left mid. You could really play him on the wings anywhere, Tate Robertson. Corrales, plays went down the channel for Brown. Not quite fast enough for that one, he's saying pointed to his feet, wants to play to his feet. That's going to be kind of the, the hallmark of these early season matchups for all teams across the league. We've got three matchups here tonight. It's just players getting used to playing with one another, especially a team like Lexington. You bring in 14 new signings on top of 10 returners from your first ever professional season. They had five preseason games, which they had to great success, but they'll be able to get a chance to play in some competitive matches now. One for Real Gilda Chase. Great turn. Was it a foul? It was. Urban Para dinged for that one after Christian Liu Young had a nice drop of the shoulder to get past him. He was brought down and play can get rolling again here. Christian Liu Young starting the 2023 USL League One title game with North Carolina. Eventually went on to win that on penalties. North Carolina moving on. See Fox and Mendez both trying these long-range passes. To make success, that one going out of play here in the 23rd night. forward, Lancaster to contest. Sits up kindly for him, pops it back for Juf. Pass intercepted. Langlois carrying it strongly through the middle. 
Big tackle. Well won back by Corrales. Already two goals up in Greenville. Spokane in the first ever match. It's 1-1. 25 minutes into that one. Competitive through the first half hour. Still waiting for our first one here. But you could have projected it. there a late challenge there was it'll be a free kick for Johnny Fenwick was fouled after kicking it by Cameron Lancaster two guys who squared off in the championship last season Fenwick with Sacramento Republic and Lancaster obviously with Louisville City where it became kind of synonymous with them Let's see it again just balls gone left foot there by Lancaster a little late a bit of a cynical foul and Foul is called. Appeals from both teams and where the ball should head. It'll be pointed the way of Northern Colorado. Nico Brown being yelled at. Doing almost uh, a basketball inbound like block attempt on the throw in. Oprah. Gill. Slides it back. Poor touch, and Yankum was on hand to try and press, but just a step slow. Maybe a tug down by Juf, not called. Rendon, pass is pressed, first time Fenwick. Aims for Powder, great touch. The return, Powder. Bit of time and space, now in the 18, puts it into the area, chested down, cleared, and it spins kindly for Juf. He can try and carry this one out. Bruno Rendon, one of the best athletes in the division, sprinted back to press and make him pass back. And now here's Brown, the attack still on if they want it. Big tackle by Rendon, heavily involved in that, winning it back. Danny Robles, given time to turn. Real Gill. Martinez to the feet of Oprah. Gill. Fenwick. Great pass between the lines. Pass aiming for the run of Oprah. Only Colorado. Had not a ton of the ball in this one, but very threatening when they have it on the counter. That's awkward for Knight. They want a back pass, and they have appeals for it, but could have been argued that it was a clearance rather than a direct intentional pass, and the referee concurs with that opinion. He doesn't call for anything against Knight, who can toss it back into play. You don't see a call too often, the back pass. There was an interesting case last year. It was a Lexington Tormenta. There was a back pass called in the third minute, picked up by Knight, I believe. And there was a rain delay for about two hours. The first pass back was a tormentous score that went on to win the game 5-1. Not necessarily fond memories for those in Lexington. But hopeful to make new memories this year. Lexington conceding 15 the body into his opponent and forces Christian Liu Young to concede possession. Oprah, three goals, five assists in 2023 and 31 appearances for the Hailstorm. Taken off of him. It's going to be a throw deep in their own half for the hosts. Okay. 
Yankum offers an option. Tries the first time pass. Lucky Oprah intercepts. Robertson there to press. They find Martinez. Can pick up his head. Maybe aim for a forward runner. You can see Rendon streaking up the right-hand side of your screen. Did he foul? Brown, he did in the end. Brown playing a left wing role. Rendon is a right back from Northern Colorado who loves to bomb forward. They've been a constant matchup throughout this one. In that instance, Brown getting there just in time, put his body in the way, and drew the foul. An update on the possession number, 61% of it for Lexington to this point. Three shots, one on target for the hosts. Just the one shot on the woodwork for Northern Colorado. Parra, great turn into some space. He still has it. In a tight duel, just a hair late, trying to win it back. They're staying tight to Parra whenever he gets the ball in any sort of space. Juf. That one spin kindly, it will indeed. Robertson. Lou Young. Caputo. Here's Knight. Yank him offering an option. Tries lofting one, knotted down by Brown. Juf gets there. Has Lancaster making a run. He's in the 18. Rendon puts a foot through it to poke it away. But Lancaster was offsides making the run. It'll be a free kick for the visitors. E-Football 2024 is here. Live your dream, rep your team, and play as your favorite USL Championship club. E-Football is free to play. Download now. You bet his favorite USL Championship club is Louisville City. All-time leading goal scorer for Lancaster, 30 years of age, moving in-state, an hour east on I-64. A really massive pickup for them. And Lexington are hopeful that he can be a big contributor. Some injuries have limited him throughout his career, but when he's fit and on the field, one of the best players that the USL has seen. Third all-time in goals in the championship. Two-time champion as well. And 2017 and 2018. Breck Evans. Northern Colorado, a bit of a different off-season strategy in comparison to Lexington. Dipping in for just six new faces, returning 14. The big two departures, obviously, talked about a few times now in the broadcast. Arthur Rogers had 11 assists last season. Trevor Emmon who had 23 goals, which was a, was a league record. Talking to Eamon Zayed ahead of this one. Hopeful that they can get goals from a number of places rather than just concentrated in Eamon, who had almost 40% of their goals last season. They were happy to ride him as long as he was able to lead them. Believes that Billy King, Noah Powder, Real Gill can all be players to step up for more goals than they did last year or be new faces to come in, as well as Jake Keegan. He's on the bench to start this one. Part of a one Knoxville side that struggled to score goals throughout 2023. He's got a lot of experience, though, in that department, leading the line for a League One team. Corrales. Cuban plays it to Fox. Oof. Holds off, gets it to Corrales. Brown has a run from Corrales in a bit of space. Puts it in the box. It's dangerous through everybody. Kept alive by Lou Young. Rolled back. Mendez. Corrales.
Lou Young all the way back to ninth. Corrales. Been impressed with his first 35 minutes for Lexington. Constant threat on the overlap on the left-hand side. Lou Young, pass just too short for Robertson. Third match of the day has also gotten underway. Tormenta taking on Fuego. Both sides looking to get back into the playoff picture. That one's starting about 30 minutes behind ours. So a nice bit of offset. Still 1-1 between Greenville and Spokane. Velocity looking for their first ever points in their first ever match in League One. Langwa back to Fenwick. Evans. Rendon. Too tall, goes out of play. Good throw for Lexington. <laughs> Lancaster keeps it in play. Nice bit of control. Robertson pressed by two and white. Plays through it. Lou Young back to Mendez. Fox trying one. Too tall for Brown. They've tried that a lot with Fox, trying to just play that one up the left-hand side. Those direct passes. Rendon will leave it. Evans will be the one to take. And similar to Lexington and how what they presented, their potential three at the back formation, what they're actually playing, looks like they've moved Langwa into a more holding midfield role rather than being part of the back three as he contests for that one with Juve. Brown powering up. Two against him. Just a case of speed there. Kicked off of him and it loops out. Goal kick given. Evans, no nonsense, works out for his side. It's the first trip of seven to start the year for Northern Colorado. The next match is in the Open Cup. On the 19th against Tulsa, just one other match in the month of March. That's going to be at Spokane on the 23rd. A pair of games on the calendar in the league in the month of April. Both of them on the road at Greenville, at Chattanooga. And then their first ever League One Cup match will be against Union Omaha. That one also on the road, 1st of May. Rendon aims for Para. Fox gets a head to it and puts a foot through it. Well dealt with by him. And Doan nods it back where it came from. And Caputo can begin Lexington's recycling of possession. Live here and the USL League One kickoff day. It's Lexington, Northern Colorado. The word that coaches used in the build-up of this one was could be cagey, could be a little ugly at times, trying to find their feet, figure their way as Unique Yankum. Nice, powerful dribble. Pokes it off. Lancaster. Oh, that one just wide. His first shot in Lexington Green just yanks it wide. They want that one back and Northern Colorado will be counting their blessings knowing you can't give them that many opportunities. Great dribbling by Yankum to open up the chance. And that one just wide by Lancaster trying to take it in one touch to bring it into control. And the second one right footed almost a half volley the way it sat up. In the end going just wide a goal. Rendon.
Fenwick trying one. Picks out Powder. Was he fouled from behind? Referee wagging the finger says no. Does call for a foul though against Langwa. Irvin Para asking the referee, but no call for his side and the call against his side. Let's see it again. Good chance. You can see Powder goes down. Referee wags his finger, says no. That one coming together. Hard to see. If it's hard to see in multiple looks for us, you imagine it's hard to see for the referee in one look at the speed that these players play at. But foul called against him. Two of the last three games refereed by Gary Gutierrez. All of them coming last season. Had six yellow cards distributed, so has had a tendency to be a little loose with the card to adjudicate the match. None given, though, in this season opener. Lou Young to Mendez. Knight, who's had a lot more of the ball at his feet than in his hands, has been called in to make a save to this point in the match. The lone shot, probably the best chance of the game. Noah Powder from the top of the 18. Did a nice job pulling the ball away from where the keeper was going. Didn't even have a chance to make a dive. Knight did, but it hit the upright and bounced kindly away from goal. Lofted forward. Headed away by Oprah. Flicked on by Martinez. And it sits up for Robles. Great tackle diving in by Lou Young. First time pass just under hit, and Fox can come across, get a foot through it, and knock it out of play. There's three minutes left of the minimum of 45. behind him. Poor touch. Martinez comes across. Wins it back. Gill. Good poke in by Brown. Gets the ball away and can try and dribble. He'll be fouled there. He will be. Gill brings him down. Seven fouls the 77 on a 44 degree night in Georgetown, Kentucky. Just a hint of wind. A little brisk, but it's weather that's the big factor that Northern Colorado's on the road until late May. It can be challenging to attend or play soccer. Northern Colorado weather this time of year. That one just out of play. The pass just too heavy. Lancaster aiming for Robertson. You've seen Robertson, the guy who last year typically played down the wings, either left or right, but kind of stayed pretty much in his lane, being given a bit more freedom, making that run across the 18. Trying to get onto the end of that one. Four goals, eight assists last year. 26 years of age. Could be a big breakout year for Tate Robertson. Maybe compare him to Arthur Rogers. Played as a right back in 2022. Had nine assists under Eamon Zayed in his first year. Second season, becoming a bit more Versatile in his playing position, played as a center back, right back, center mid, defensive mid, as that one's well headed back by Corrales. Experience head there, brings it back to Knight. Robertson, player who played in a fullback position for good spells of 2023, being given some more license to roam. We'll see how that ends up panning out for Darren Powell and company. One for Brown to chase. Rendon gets ahead to it. They advance the territory. And as we enter into the 45th minute, we get a chance to get one last shot, one last chance before we head into the break. Let's see if we can get anything in this one. Tossed in. Lancaster flicks it. Acrobatic clearance by Martinez. Para trying a creative move to get past Corrales, but it's one back. They're actually going to stop play. There was coming together in the box. One minute of added time in this one. 
at the back end of our first half. And it's unsurprising that Martinez was a little slow to get up, went for an incredibly acrobatic overhead kick clearance. Came into Lancaster a little bit as he kicked it. Ends up on the ground, and the referee allowing him a moment to collect himself. Abel Caputo can get his back going. Might get an extra 30 seconds on top of the one minimum. And we'll see if the referee will just send us in to the break and to conclusion in the next 15 seconds. Juf cuts it back to Corrales. Fox. Mendez, pass intercepted. Powder, he's shifted from the right wing to the left hand side. That one just taken off of him, yank him. See how much more time the referee is going to give us here. Some impressive skill to keep the ball. Caputo. Brown pokes it past Rendon. And it is going to be a foul on the first yellow card of the season for Northern Colorado. Goes the way of Bruno Rendon, bringing down Nico Brown and might allow one last free kick to wrap up the 45 before we break for halftime. He's a little frustrated. Let's see the call here. Yep, you can see he got him. Brown just powering that ball past him and that will be frustrating for the hailstorm. You're just a few seconds away from halftime, and now you give not only the yellow card for Rendon, he's got to be on thin ice against an incredible dribbler in Nico Brown. And also, there's one last chance to just knock one into the box. Might be one of the last touches of the half. Corrales and Robertson over it. Robertson stabs that one up. Delgado goes to claim, punches it away. Does just about enough. And that will be it for our first 45 minutes. A stalemate, nil-nil, between Lexington and Northern Colorado. Both sides feeling each other out, getting an understanding for themselves. And as things stand, no goals separated. As we see Lancaster and Juf talk as they head into the break. Some talks to come for Darren Powell and Lexington. And Eamon Zayed will see where things head going into this one. 45 minutes remain. Just a few shots for both sides to kick off the new season. Who will take the three points to kick off the year? Lexington or Northern Colorado will find out after halftime. We'll head into Britain right here. Lexington is the Kentuckiest place in the world. Just look at it. It's by far the bluegrassiest, the bourbonist. See? The artsiest, and hands down, the horsiest. Look, that one has a baby. I don't know why you would look anywhere else. Looking for the coolest, most Kentuckiest getaway? Look at Lexington. Girls like you aren't runners, they said. Well, I wasn't. Let's go ahead and get some pictures of that knee, okay? Six months down the drain. Give up. Keep the rhythm going. Or get up. Perfect. Who's not a runner now? Good, you don't have to be an elite athlete to be treated like one. UK Healthcare Orthopedic Surgery and Sports Medicine, the power of advanced medicine. They're hungry for the women's game. They want to see women's soccer. They want to play women's soccer. And that's what we're building at the USL. You can see going to be professional athletes but if your goal is to finish your degree we can help 
Come to a university that puts your goals first. Bellevue University, your partner in finishing goals. It's halftime in Kentucky on the opening weekend of the USL League One season. Let's check out some of the big names that have made the leap to the next level of the USL championship. Starting things off with J.P. Skiers after four seasons with Union Omaha, 17 goals, eight assists, a constant set-piece threat. He'll be moving on to Phoenix, rising in the USL Championship. His teammate from the last two seasons, Noe Meza, also making the leap after a fantastic 2023. He had a handful of goals as they were the Players' Shield winners. A pair of those guys moving on, as well as the league's leading scorer all-time in a single season, Trevor Ammon, with 23 goals last year, was the best player in the league as the USL League One Player of the Year. He's headed now to Sacramento Republic. Him, another his teammate, fantastic contributor, was Arthur Rogers. He'll be headed to Tulsa after being back-to-back -back USL League One Defensive Player of the Year and leading the league in assists with 11 of them last season. They were a great combo last year. They'll be playing against each other in the championship next year. And Keziah Sterling, two fantastic years. The League One Finals MVP, scored a ton of goals in the run for the 2022 title, 31 goals across two years. He's now in Pittsburgh with the Riverhounds. One of his teammates as well, with Mukwele Akale, double-digit goals and assists across his 45 appearances. He's headed now to New Mexico, where Matt will be playing with New Mexico United in 2024. And Akira Fitzgerald, five seasons, three times he was nominated for USL League One Goalkeeper of the Year in 2019, 2021, and 2022, winning the honor in 2021. Headed to North Carolina FC as they move from League One to the championship. And Brooks Thompson, his team was moving up as well. And He'll be staying in the championship, going now to Hartford Athletic after a big contrib contribution down the back end of the season with 17 appearances, four clean sheets, and a vital penalty save in the title game. Three further Omaha players as they have a league leading five players moving to the next level. Pairs for Charlotte and Greenville as well, while Dalton Knudsen and Nico Cardonia will be joining Alan Gavilanez in Miami. We're going to take another break here on ESPN+. Plus. We've got news and notes when we return. hungry for the women's game. They want to see women's soccer. They want to play women's soccer. And that's what we're building at the USL. We all have goals. But let's be honest, most of us aren't going to be professional athletes. But if your goal is to finish your degree, we can help. Come to a university that puts your goals first. Bellevue University, your partner in finishing goals. Pain doesn't care who you are or why you hurt, but pain can be mastered if you know the way. Fight back with Tiger Balm's legendary herbal power. Trusted for over a hundred years, our proven blend of camphor, menthol, and essential oils tames pain with the strength and speed of the tiger so that you can rise above pain and get back to living. This is the way of the tiger. Lexington is the Kentuckiest place in the world. Just look at it. It's by far the bluegrassiest, the bourbonist. See? The artsiest. And hands down, the horsiest. Oh, look, that one has a baby. I don't know why you would look anywhere else. Looking for the coolest, most Kentuckiest getaway? Look at Lexington. 
Halftime between Lexington and Northern Colorado. No goals to separate the two sides in match one of 22 this league season. For more on the new league structure that we've got in 2024, here's Mike Watts. In 2024, USL League One will introduce a new in-season cup competition built on regional rivalries and added dimensions to the game itself. Like cups around the world, this new tournament will consist of group play and a knockout round. The three groups of four will consist of the East Group, Charlotte, Greenville, Richmond, and Tormenta. The Central Group, Chattanooga, Knoxville, Lexington, and Madison. The West Group, Central Valley, Northern Colorado, Omaha, and Spokane. The clubs will play a home and away round robin within their group. Then they will play two matches, one home and one away, against two different teams from another group. In total, each club will play eight matches in group action. The top team in each group will advance to the semifinals, joined by the non-group leader with the most goals scored. This innovation will encourage more attacking and entertaining play. That's not the only fun adjustment. If a group stage game finishes tied at the end of regulation time, a penalty kick shootout will take place with an extra point in the standings on the line. The cup will evolve and grow over the next few years, bringing more drama and more memories for all. Thanks, Mike. Some further news and notes. Two new clubs, Rhode Island in the championship, Spokane in League One. They're playing right now against Greenville 1-1 at the break. Super League receiving D1 sanctioning from U.S. Soccer. That inaugural season will kick off this August. Lexington themselves have another franchise, as well as USL going to be featured in a record 35 national broadcast games in 2024. A pair of games in the championship final on CBS and Paramount, 18 matches on CBS Sports Network and 10 regular season matches on ESPN2. Excited to see the game continue to grow and expand across national networks. It's going to be great to see some of these games move on and have some fantastic competition still nil-nil between Lexington and Northern Colorado here at halftime in this one. Some other scores from across the country. 1-1 at halftime. Fuego has got a goal on the road against Tormenta in the first 26 minutes. Looking ahead, you can see the next matchup for Lexington at home against Chattanooga next Friday. That'll be the first match of the year for Chattanooga as well as some of Saturday's games coming up. Should be a great one next weekend as well. Really excited to see how this one pans out moving forward. One last break until we get back to Toyota Stadium. We'll take it on ESPN+. Plus. Lexington is the Kentuckiest place in the world. Just look at it. It's by far the bluegrassiest, the bourbonist. See? The artsiest, and hands down, the horsiest. Oh, look, that one has a baby. I don't know why you would look anywhere else. Looking for the coolest, most Kentuckiest getaway? Look at Lexington. Girls like you aren't runners, they said. Well, I wasn't. Some pictures of that knee, okay? Six months down the drain. Give up. Keep the rhythm going. Or get up. Perfect. Who's not a runner now? Good, you don't have to be an elite athlete to be treated like one. UK Healthcare Orthopedic Surgery and Sports Medicine, the power of advanced medicine. They're hungry for the women's game. They want to see women's soccer. They want to play women's soccer. And that's what we're building at the USL. You can see be honest most of us aren't going to be professional athletes but if your goal is to finish your degree we can help 
Come to a university that puts your goals first. Bellevue University, your partner in finishing goals. We're back in Georgetown, Kentucky. It's nil-nil. Match week one of the 2024 USL League One season. Lexington and Northern Colorado, their fourth ever meeting. No goals to separate the two sides, but we can take a look at some of those highlights from the first half. Here's an interesting one. Both sides feeling each other out. In the 13th minute here, we had one of the best chances of the match throughout. We see Northern Colorado, much of their opportunities coming on the break here. This, their one and only shot. Noah Powder gets it, moves it onto the left foot, does very well to nearly bury that one in the bottom right corner, just hitting that right upright. You see that Knight had absolutely no chance coming through a crowd of players, just couldn't quite get it to sit up kindly in the bottom right corner. 27th minute now, again, an opportunity on the break for Northern Colorado. That one just well dealt with and cleared out of play. We saw a lot of it came in transition moments. Only 38% possession for Northern Colorado, and still they were able to drive forward and make some things happen. 39th minute now. A lot of buildup from the back came from Lexington. A well, great move here from Anik Yankum, his debut for Lexington. Picks out another man making his debut in Cameron Lancaster, and his shot just yanked wide. But if he gets another chance like that in the second 45, you'd bank on him to put that one home. So on first half stats after this one, you see the shots 4-1 to one for Lexington. The possession also in their favor. The one shot on target saved by Delgado. Only one between the two sides. And a late Bruno Rendon yellow card is the lone card of the match. But not a ton of numbers on the stats sheet. Been a gritty game where one side might have to just grind one out, just try and get it across the goal line and see if they can steal the three points in this first match of the season. Talking to both coaches before this one, both Darren Powell for Lexington and Eamon Zai for Northern Colorado, they both mentioned, completely unprovoked, the importance of every point this season. We mentioned that cup competition at halftime, and it's exciting to get more local rivalries developed, but it leads to only 22 matches in the regular season, just 66 points. It's going to be interesting to see how each team breaks things out. Mentioned just hot starts and strong starts are needed. Union Omaha last season winning 14 of the last 15 games heading into the playoffs. They had a very slow start. And as I had mentioned that maybe a side like that wouldn't be able to have similar fortunes this year, having a slow start, but still a 30 plus game campaign to drive through just the 22 games plus the cup competition for playoff seating means that this match just that much more important. You see Urban Para. Just one goal in 2023. It was still a moment of triumph for him, though, to beat cancer, come back, get back out onto the field as a feat in and of itself. To get a goal in the final match of the regular season against Chattanooga was special enough. Now he's leading the line and wearing the captain's armband in his third season for Northern Colorado. Back underway in the white kits from right to left are Northern Colorado and their hosts, Lexington, in the black and green kits heading from left to right. Early ball sprayed over the top. I would guess a focus for Eamon Zai would be trying to increase the influence of Irvin Para on the peripheral of that first 45 minutes, not quite able to get terribly involved. A ton of service for him to try and latch on to. Similar enough for his opposing leading striker in Cameron Lancaster, you saw that shot during the halftime highlights, but not a ton of opportunities for the experienced forwards. Oprah poked away. First corner of the match within a minute for Northern Colorado. Positive start for them. We'll see if they can try and deliver some danger from this. No Arthur Rogers, who was the set piece wizard. Jella Martinez used to take them for Madison, so a bit of replacement in the set piece department. Second corner of the match, first for the Hailstorm. Martinez whips it in, headed down, just wide of goal, head in his hands. Fenwick nearly able to get that one on frame. Let's check it out again. Really great delivery by Martinez. At the back post, that header just wide. Nearly a debut goal for Johnny Fenwick. Came to him nicely at the back post. Second shot of the match. Thank you. 
Allen can't get a touch to it, so it'll be a throw for Northern Colorado. A bit more pep in their step coming out of halftime. A bit more passive than Eamon's eye would have preferred. Tossed back in by Evans. Oprah, or rather Powder trying to chase that off the flick. Yankum. Nice back heel clearance pulled off there by Evans. Robles has it taken off of him. Bit of miscommunication there between him and Gill, and it spins kindly for Unique Yankum. A run being made by Brown. Lou Young played to the feet. Lancaster. Well worked, Robertson aims for Juf over his head, gets to Brown. Juf making some space for himself, just a heavy touch from Brown there, it's hooked away, and Powder can latch on to the clearance. Yankum intercepting the pass, Juf, Robertson. Foul from behind, Modesto Mendez goes to the back of Irvin Parra. Free kick is given. Well, the USL League One is on CBS Sports and ESPN platforms all season long. Catch live matches and expert analysis every day on the CBS Sports Golazo Network and ESPN+. Plus. Go to USLLeagueOne.com for the complete USL TV listings. And at the championship level, Louisville against Indy 11 will be on April 6th on CBS. Big landmark moment for the league there. Excited to have that one. It'll be around a lot of marquee April viewings. We'll the final four of March Madness that weekend as well. And just behind Hailstorm player. Juve can try and play this one to Brown on the break. He's got a chance to dribble against Rendon, who has to be careful. He's on a yellow card. And you're seeing that in his defensive tactics there. A bit more tentative, a bit more relaxed than he usually is known for being very aggressive, a front foot defender. Unique Yankum, his first appearance here in the United States. He's coming over from Malta. Made 90 appearances, scored 10 goals across four years for Burkir Kara. He's got a goal as well for Malta. His contribution to 2023 led to him getting a a prominent role with the Malta national team and suggested that those efforts in the UEFA Euros qualifying helped get him scouted and identified by Lexington and now signed here in the United States. A chance one high up the field, slid off, powder first time on target, saved by Knight, his first save of 2024. Noah Powder trying to catch him off guard with the first time shot. He's got two shots in the day now, and they've been two of the best chances for Northern Colorado. Let's see it again. Just a little careless on the ball from Christian Liu Young. Robles and Gill combining to win it back. Maybe, in hindsight, if you're Powder, take a touch into some space, try and keep the chance alive, but he went for it first time off the feed from Para. Safe on the goal. Rendon wins the header. Lofted forward, knocked away. Foot race that is won by Gill. Have to be careful here. It was last touched by Lexington, so it'll be a throw deep in their own half. Lucky Oprah to take. Caputo. Mendez to Yankum, back to Mendez. Drops the shoulder. 
fires that one to the feet of Robertson. Too hard for him to handle. Langwalk can go and knock that up to Gill. His pass does go out of play. It is called. Throw in Lexington. Two, receives it back, fires it. Lou Young had Robertson making a run, just couldn't quite pick out a pass to him. He yank him. Robles trying to put a foot in, can't take it off Yankum. Been impressed with his moments so far in this one. Had a powerful dribble to lead to a Lancaster shot. Been dropping a bit deeper in this second half. Almost in a double pivot alongside Caputo. Brown drops off the left wing. Corrales back to Caputo. Turned by Robertson. Afraid not calling for a foul from distance. Yankum. Confident boot put out by Martinez. Blocks it. And it spins kindly for Oprah. He can power forward. Was he fouled in transition? Referee says no, he wasn't. Pounds the ground in frustration. To his credit, Gary Gutierrez has been pretty consistent keeping the whistle out of his mouth. He's trying to keep play flowing. Juf pokes things away. Was he a foul there? Referee says, yes, he was. An interesting spot for a free kick as Lucky Oprah tries to draw play back for maybe a foul that wasn't called in his favor a moment ago. That's the case that his teammates are making as well. You can see just diving in there at step late was Robles, or rather the pass put off, and the foul by Martinez. Juf has a great ability to do that, draw in a defender, poke the ball away to a teammate, and draw them into the match by pulling the defender out of it, and many times winning a free kick in the effort. It's Lancaster over it. Cameron Lancaster, that one just over. Three shots now in his debut for Lexington. Twice from free kicks. He's got a capacity for the spectacular, that one. Won't go in his finest moments collection, but he's got extensive list of that to draw from. Switch of play. Corrales, a slight slip, but won't be capitalized upon. Fox puts a foot through it under the press of Para. That bounce up hit a hand, looked like, but it's going to be with Juf regardless. Great, powerful dribble. That's certainly a yellow card. It's quickly out of the pocket from Langwai. And just a slight push by Unique Yankum. And this match kicking off a little bit after a very cynical foul. And again, worth reiterating, no VAR, things like that. So the referee has to be sure to keep things in his field of vision. Can't miss anything there. Just great bit of dribbling here. You see just great speed to get past him. Ball's gone, puts the foot across. That's the kind of foul that there's been talks floated around at all levels of the game across the world, really, about you know orange cards, blue cards, sin bins, because that's the kind of card where you can't give a red card for that. But the yellow card almost feels a little too light. There really was no attempt for the ball by Langwa. He was beaten well by Juf. His teammates in Lexington making their opinions known. Well, his debut comes short here at 57 minutes, and Jake Keegan making his first contributions for Northern Colorado. Match still to stalemate. Great opportunity for a 33-year-old to come up big. Real Gill comes off after 57 minutes. Keegan on loan from one Knoxville. 
six goals across 29 appearances for Knoxville last year. They weren't a side that scored a ton of goals. That's going to be a yellow card given to, it appears, Jorge Corrales. A bit of a sarcastic clap after the fact. Comes the third player in the book now. First one for Lexington. And after referee drawing some calm to things. Clipped up. Chested down by Juf. Caputo. See confirmation of that yellow card. Rendon, Langwa, Corrales. against two opponents. Loses out in the end. Juf has it taken off as well. That one just too far for Para. Keegan trying to play the ball first time to him. His first touch for Hailstorm. That far side, two players, recipients of yellow cards. Corrales, the left back for Lexington. Rendon, the right back for Northern Colorado, both of them their names taken by Gutierrez. That will be a foul committed by Nico Brown. Fenwick after the restart. 60th minute here. Drives the pass to Oprah. Keegan offering an option, trying to get it out of his feet. Plays it off to Martinez. Foul for behind, was he? Referee says, no, he wasn't. Got the ball. Yank him. It's blocked, spins out of play. It'll be a throw. Roberts hit a take. play throw in now Northern Colorado if you can't watch the match turn on Sirius XM FC 157 North America's only 24-7 source for engaging soccer talk including USL All Access on Tuesdays at 7 p.m. Eastern plus hear live matches from the USL MLS Premier League and more all on Sirius XM FC 157 the new SXM app ball stolen high up the field just can't quite link together Lancaster and Robertson a hand put up by Fenwick after he lost the ball in a very dangerous spot Robertson frustrated. His teammate wasn't quite in the right spot. He couldn't get the pass into his feet. Nearly the press paying off for the hosts. Sliding in, great challenge from Corrales. Rendon intercepted by Caputo. Dealt with by Rendon, Martinez, and slide it to Fenwick. Oprah. That went a bit awkward to deal with. Fox confident through it. Pudo has it taken off of him. Did he bring down Robles? Yes, he did. You saw him once you bring the arms around your opponent, almost a different football style. The referee always licensed to 
call for a foul. Robles got the free kick, but maybe he wanted a yellow card for his opponent, nothing given. But this is an opportunity for maybe some set piece magic. Noah Powder has a wand of a left foot, proven to be a threat from set pieces. Both him, Robles, and Martinez all taking an interest in this one. This one about 30 yards out. Powder and Knuckles. Great save by Knight. Keegan lets it roll out of play. Throw for his side. Powder again. Lifts this one to the back post. Headed up. Robertson can bring it down and try and clear it away. Powder shot had some venom to it. Knight had to be careful. Great flick by Juf. Picks out Robertson. The pass into Lancaster. Surrounded by four and white. Martinez knocks him down. It's a free kick for Lexington. That was some free kick by Powder from 30 yards out. It's interesting on this American football field, you're really able to detect distances yardage-wise. That one at the 20-yard line looks like the edge of the 18s about at the 12-yard line. There's a little bit of quick math there. Lou Young, pressed by Keegan. Great work by Robertson, putting his body into his opponent. Generates some space for himself. Yankum pokes it. Back heel just not quite pulled off by Robertson. Fired into Robles, but he's got a lot of green grass to drive into. He's going to try and power this one forward. Caputo, did he edge him from behind? He did, knocked him over. Another foul in transition. The substitution being prepared. Player making a debut. Jaden Onan coming on now for Nico Brown. Talk about a threat from the bench to bring on. They'll hope that he can be a big contributor after a strong 2023. It was his first stateside. Jaden Onan, a youth career with Arsenal, Crystal Palace, Brighton, and Brentford. He had spells professionally with. Brentford, Bromley, Reading, Sheffield Wednesday, and he moved to forward Madison. Had three goals, seven assists last season. He's on now for the first time at his new home in Lexington. Still young, 23 years of age. A lot of soccer left in his young career. That one's knocked out. Powder thought it was going to be for his side, but Rales will pick it up after the throw was given for Lexington. So Brown playing in the left wing, comes off for Onan. See how that tweaks things around and be the target of that pass. He wanted a handball, not given. Onan, his first touches, manages to find a teammate in Lancaster. They'll hope that connection becomes said far more often. Para, good bit of strength, has three in white with him. Some numbers getting back now for Lexington. Langwa, Para. Firing this one into the box. Keegan a target. It's flicked out. Oprah brings it down. Puts that one towards goal, and it goes just wide at the target. That one might have taken a deflection. It did, in fact. Players prepping for a corner. Oprah very good on both feet. Allowed him to get it out with his right foot. It's where the ball fell to him. His first time shot. After bringing it down, so second touch. Deflected, and a chance now for the second corner of the half. And of the match, Martinez to take again. Aiming for the back post again. Collision of heads in the box. Onan has it on the break. We'll see if they have to pull it back for anything. Onan. Couldn't play the pass first time, and has to draw it back to Corrales. Caputo. Space to drive into if he wants to. Lou Young. And he's Yanko. Oh, 
Robertson trying an impressive flick. Oprah wise to it, blocked it off. Juf gets across to get to that one. Caputo. Corrales. Mendez to his center back partner, Fox. One sub apiece for the two sides. Less than half an hour to go. See if either one can try and strike and gain advantage of the full three points. Well played to the channel. Juf. Lou Young. Back to Juf. Yankum. Now we're not there for Onan. Para. Slides it off for Rendon. Forcing clearance from Corrales. That one's out of the stadium. We have a to retrieve the ball. Rendon will do that, flicking it back. Evans. Para flicks it down. Robles looks to the ref for a foul. Wasn't given. Juf picks up the loose one. Onan. Corrales. Mendez. Lou Young. That one just off for Robertson. Out of play for a throw. Oprah to take. Possession sitting in a similar number that it did in the first 45. About 61% of it. For Lexington, about 39% for Northern Colorado. Pretty consistent with what you see in home away splits in this league. Robles, now knocked out of play. Lexington throw. Mendez. Onan. See Langwa taking a Keen interest in Onan's movement. Man marking him, but allowing Fox and the center backs for Lexington to control the ball. Relatively unpressed. Fired forward by Knight. Lancaster, really impressive touch to bring that one into his spell. Knocked out by Evans, and they advance their territory, and they can have the ball now in the attacking half. Yankum. Back to Corrales. Onan. Onan. Clever flick through the legs of Martinez. The pass picks out Lancaster. Flicks it to Yankum. Impressive move here. Yannick Yankum trying to drive through. Goes down to the box. Wants a penalty. Referee doesn't give anything there. Bruno Rendon driving forward. After a bit of controversy, potentially, Para aiming for one. Powder wanted it in front of him, but the space perhaps was on the right hand side where the pass was aimed. Now a sub can come in after the penalty shout was denied for the hosts. Pierre Manet makes his first appearance in year number two. Yannick Yankum, he'll be coming off. Strong debut, in my view, for Yankum. We'll hear how Powell viewed it in the lead up to the following match against Chattanooga, but 71 minutes from him. Some powerful dribbling, some impressive flicks in the middle, and nearly the biggest moment there coming, drawing a penalty, but trying to split two defenders resulted in just the ball being turned over.
Pierre Manet on now for Lexington. Made uh, 24 appearances, 12 starts. Lone goal to his name for the man from Dakar, Senegal. Corrales, been saying his name a lot, been heavily involved in build up on the left hand side. And Lou Young, less so in terms of the two fullbacks, but beginning to grow an in influence. Juf wins the ball. Wins the throw in. Robertson trying to nod it back down for Lou Young. He's one on one with his opposing fullback, Oprah. He steps across quite well. He does a really strong bit of defensive work to see that one out for a goal kick. And his goalkeeper, Lalo Delgado, can get us restarted. The XG for this one, just 0.28 for Lexington, 0.17 for Northern Colorado. Not accumulated the most high quality of chances among their six combined shots. This really has all the makings of just an early season, finding their own feet kind of match for both sides. A flick, aiming for Para from Powder, just can't quite pull it off. Power to the flick to Robles. Big coming together there. Will be a free kick. Two players down now after some thumping challenges from Lexington. Gary Gutierrez just wants a quick word, and I think he's indicating how many fouls have been given. We'll see if a yellow card is produced. You see there, just comes through strong. The ball is one. Just a nice bit of control from Robles to drag it away. And the end of free kick given. Noah Powder whips this one in, knocked down. Knight comes across. Would have been a corner if it went out of play, but he gets across to it, keeps it in bounds. Lou Young, great interception by Oprah to get a foot to it. Keegan flicks it. Para, some space to turn into that he found, cuts it back. Almost went into the path of Gutierrez. He did well to pull his run back as the referee. Oprah, Keegan making the run to drag away the defender. Martinez switches play well to Rendon. Pass a little errant. Lancaster comes onto it. Onan. Really good ball to try and find Robertson in an equally good challenge. Actually, rather, it's going to be a foul called against Robertson for being a little late. Feels a little harsh. Both players going for the ball, but in the end, Fenwick did get there first, got to the ball, cleared it away, and then was knocked down. He looks a little frustrated at the, or perplexed rather. Yeah, gets the ball. You could argue that's just a sliding challenge that his opponent ran into, but Johnny Fenwick is just doing his job, clears the ball away, and is getting booed by the home crowd. Chance for him to make a big impact. Just six appearances in 2023 with Sacramento Republic in the USL Championship. But he'll come in at 29 years of age, man from Newcastle. A lot of responsibility and a chance to really be an experienced leader at the back. Nearly a great turn from Robles. But an important tackle from Pierre Manet knocks it out of play. Out of town scores at the half. Fuego up two goals to nil. Strong start to, to the Jermaine Jones era. While Greenville at home, three goals to one up on Spokane. Juve gets ahead to it, as does Oprah. Keegan trying to keep that one in, slices it out of play for a throw. As things stand, Greenville and Fuego stand to be the sides gaining points this weekend. That one just hooked forward. Powder, was he brought down for a foul? Yes, he was. Free kick in a position of intrigue. Oh, 
Powder down. And a chance now with the free kick. You can hear the crowd's frustration with that one. The home crowd growing frustrated with a, a cagey match to open up the season. And Powder winning a free kick in frustrating circumstances. You can see Rendon in a lot of space. I think Onan spies his ability to make the run. He won't be completely unmarked. Powder trying to pick him out. Onan did get ahead to it. Nearly able to track that one down, keep it in play, but it's going to stay with Northern Colorado. It's a throw. Not sure how much of note this is, but it's interesting that these throws on the right-hand side, they're not having Bruno Rendon take any of them. Uh, the center backs take it in this case, their striker taking it rather than a typical wider player. Para is going to go direct into the box. Pudo, scuffed clearance. Langwa back to Para, picks his head up. His ball in is a little scuffed, and it's knocked away. If that stays in play, one to chase for Lancaster. He gets there. He keeps it in play. Cameron Lancaster keeping it alive. Waiting for some teammates to join in some sport. Gets it to Juf. What a tackle. I thought on first look it was a good tackle. You can see Noah Powder very frustrated. Looked like he got the ball, but the referee saying it was a foul in the end. And this is a free kick from a position of great promise. The yellow card will be produced. Looks like for Noah Powder. Let's see the challenge that has resulted in the anger in the end. Lancaster does incredibly well to his credit to keep this one alive. Plays the pass maybe a little under hit. That's clean. That looks like a great tackle from my vantage point for Fenwick. Gets to the ball, knocks it away. And I think it was Powder who was booked for his animated protest. We'll get you confirmation for that in a moment. But the more immediate threat than the yellow cards or any discipline here is just a free kick in a moment of incredible bother for the right-footed Cameron Lancaster. For this free kick, we'll have a sub for Northern Colorado. You see Robles trotting off bottom of your screen. Ethan Horde will be coming on. Interesting sub here. It was a trialist in the preseason, Ethan Horde was. Ended up earning a spot on the side, and you'll see the threat that Eamon Zai thinks he can have. He's six foot five. So he'll come on and immediately make a bigger presence in the wall. Robles off at 5'6", six and 6'5", six man on now in his place. Martinez on the line. Oh, off the upright and just put over by Monet. Delgado might have gotten a fingertip to it the way his teammates are congratulating him. In the end, it's a goal kick after that one was blazed over the bar by Juf. Let's see it again. Nice free kick taken. And that one by Lancaster is just, just off target. I think Delgado might have gotten a fingertip to it. Third free kick of the match nearly was the lucky one for Lancaster. Hoard, his first touch, is coming on. Knocks it down for Powder. Hoard goes down off the ball. Martinez, nice pass forward. Just about kept in play, well done by Langwa. You can see Oprah making the run. Outside of the boot pass, just not quite there. Martinez came across Juf, made sure that any chance to run for that one was in vain. Less than 10 minutes. Will either side find one to get the full three points in this season opener? Will we have a nil-nil stalemate? Get the new year underway. Hoard challenging. Trying to win multiple headers. Rendon. You just see the physical presence that Hoard offers. Para. It's knocked down.
forward, 22 years of age. Coming out of college at UC Davis. Given his chance in the preseason. He took it with full force, both hands. You know, he's got a chance to chase that one. Jimmy's eye was full of praise for him. Scored several goals in the preseason. Caught the attention and this is off the ball play as well. Willing to run into the channels. Even for a guy at 6'5 in the forward areas, willing to receive it in his feet. Likes to take on players with the dribble. Khalid Balagoon making his first appearance of 2024. And his first ever appearance for Lexington, David Luera. Lancaster will be coming off, as will be Tate Robertson. So a chance for a few more subs to make an impact in this one in the final few minutes. Get some more minutes under the legs. We get into this season in full swing. Onan, the run being made by Balogun. Spins away. Parrish puts a foot through it to clear. He may have felt the effects there. He's holding his right ankle after putting his foot through that one. Para feeling the effects of this one. We'll see it again. Puts his foot through it. Looks like it was just a little bit of contact on the boot from Ona. Nothing for a foul there, but definitely hurts. Not sure if we fully confirmed it for you, but it was Powder who received the yellow card for descent on the Fenwick free kick a couple minutes ago now. One back. Keegan gets a foot to it. Onan comes back across, wins it back for his side. Pass is dangerous. Juf gets onto it. Coming across well was Oprah and Fenwick combined to do just about enough. Keegan receiving it to his feet, trying to play it to Horde. He will get it, trying to turn his opponent and use his strength. Goes down, and it will be a foul against Mendez. And a yellow card brought out from the number 44. In his debut in this match, given a yellow card. Fifth card of the match given out for either side. And Horde did very well to win that one. Oprah's in a lot of space. Martinez wanted the free kick in a more advanced position. He'll play it quick regardless to Oprah. Horde the target, rather Rendon was the target, but it went over everybody's head, out of play. Knight hasn't been tested by an official shot on target to this point. Just the two shots for Northern Colorado. Four for Lexington, one on target. Langlois, Balagoon, did he tug him back? Yes, he did. A bit more disjointed in our last 10 minutes. Imagine fatigue set in a little bit in this early stages of the season. We'll see if either side will have a lapse in concentration or a moment of magic in these final few moments to try and get this one across the line as things stand. It'll be a sharing of the points in the first match of the season. Whipped in. Low header, nodded across and cleared by Fox. In the end, it's just about enough. Martinez let it go out for a throw. He can get it back going.
Hoard sits up kindly for him. Slides it for Keegan. Knight off his line. Does great work to dive and get that one. Avoids any threat on his goal. Rolls it out quickly to Juf. He wants some options. What a tackle by Irvin Para. Not necessarily a striker's tackle there. Just comes across, bravely dives in, and stops the counterattack. Here's Lou Young. We're in the 89th minute. Mane intercepts it there. Had to be careful, he was under a bit of pressure. Two men were around him, but he played it to Fox and he played it to Mendez. Mendez can eye a forward pass. David Luera making his first touch since coming on. Came up the Orlando City Academy in 2012 and 2017. Had a homegrown contract after college in 2020. Made three appearances for San Antonio. Last season, clipped in, hooked away by Keegan. It's all hands on deck. You saw the tackle by Para, that clearance by Keegan. Both of them guys you'd love to have in the other 18 if you're Northern Colorado. But they know they're just a few minutes away from a point on the road, which they would not complain about, all things considered. Tossed in, flicked on. Fenwick heads it high and away. Para climbs highest as well. Irvin Para trying to slide that one through. Luera does just about enough. Wins it back for his side. Powder pokes a toe in, knocks it out. Throw in given. We're into stoppage time. Four minutes of it. That one just too heavy, aiming for Lou Young. It'll be a throw for Northern Colorado. Oprah here. A result that, if it holds, you'd imagine would definitely favor the visitors more than the hosts. Horde flipping the header on. Mendez put a foot in to knock it out of play. He's on the yellow. Has to be careful. They would hate for this match that may end in a scoreless draw to lead to a suspension. For any moments, the draw impacts on further performances. Oprah. Poor trying to turn forward. Fox had to be careful. He did just about enough. Martinez, his header not fully dealt with. Balogun. It's taken off of him by Para, who tracked back very well. Now one for Horde to try and chase and make life difficult for Mendez. Knocks it back to Knight. Clarence is high rather than away. Para nods the header to Horde. Stays in play. Lou Young is blocked by Keegan. Throw for Lexington. Pressed by the bravery of Northern Colorado to still keep pressing, still keep fighting. Para did commit a foul. No, he didn't. It's going to be a throw. Let's see if he tries to toss one into the box. He did a long throw earlier this match on the opposite side of the field. He'll leave it for his left back. I think that's where you want. Irvin Para is jogging into the penalty area to try and offer his threat. See Breck Evans in the box as well. Oprah tosses it in. Flick down. A chance to shoot. It's scuffed. Can they get something across the line? Oprah. Oh, off the upright. Still alive. Keegan brings it down across the box. Sits up. Saved and brought in by Knight. Chaos in front of goal. In the third minute of stoppage time, and they do just about enough, Lexington do, and keep it out of their net. Nearly stealing the three points with this one. That one being scuffed. It sat up nicely for Oprah. Did very well with the first touch. And that one just bounces slightly before the first shot. And it comes into the box again. In the end, saved by the keeper. We're still alive here. Still another minute plus change to play. Headed down, Luera. 
Takes a great touch. Balogun in the box. Delgado wants it. And he'll be able to pick it up. Man. That was the chance of the match for Northern Colorado. Lucky Oprah does everything right on his right foot, forced off of it, puts it onto the left. And then chaos in front of goal. They couldn't quite get the exact purchase they would have wanted on the shot. The end saved by Knight, who stood tall in the end. Flicked down by Horde. Throw for Northern Colorado. Oprah going forward. Nearing the end of the minimum. We'll see how much additional the referee is going to give for this match to play. Fenwick scoops that forward. One for Keegan, and he is no match for Knight. A little bit of afters there. Match still alive. Knight. That will be it. A cagey, at times ugly, and nearly a goal for either side. They both struck the woodwork, but in the end, no goals to separate Lexington and Northern Colorado here on match day one. See, that was a moment and a match of passion for both sides. In the end, a point apiece to kick off our 2024 USL League One season. Let's step aside for a break really quick, get ourselves organized, and try and break down the highlights from that one. One last break on ESPN+. Plus. Lexington is the Kentuckiest place in the world. Just look at it. It's by far the bluegrassiest, the bourbonist. See? The artsiest and hands down, the horsiest. Oh, look, that one has a baby. I don't know why you would look anywhere else. Looking for the coolest, most Kentuckiest getaway? Look at Lexington. Girls like you aren't runners, they said. Well, I wasn't. Let's go ahead and get some pictures of that knee, okay? Six months, down the drain. Give up. Keep the rhythm going. Or get up. Perfect. Who's not a runner now? Yeah, you up. don't have to be an elite athlete to be treated like one. UK Healthcare Orthopedic Surgery and Sports Medicine. The power of advanced medicine. They're hungry for the women's game. They want to see women's soccer. They want to play women's soccer. And that's what we're building at the USL. You can see it in my eyes. Full time here from Georgetown, Lexington, nil, Northern Colorado, nil. Check out the highlights, some of the best chances of this one. First half, 13th minute, Northern Colorado, they were pretty dangerous in transition. There's some positive moments to take from there. Noah Powder was involved a lot in this match, hitting the upright here, driving it onto his left foot, just hits the post. You saw Knight was just hopeless as that one was dragged across him. Jump, second half now, 47th minute, this one. Of cross into the back post. First corner of the match nearly turned out to be profitable. Martinez trying to find his new teammate Fenwick. That one going just wide of ML Knight's net. There were a few chances in this one. In the end, they had six shots, Northern Colorado did. But this was really well done by Cameron Lancaster. Tracked down the ball, trying to play it into Pierre Manet. They thought it might have been clean. In the end, it wasn't. There was a yellow card given. Fenwick bringing down his opponent and the ensuing free kick. Nearly a moment of massive danger. Tate Robertson putting a bit of danger there. And that's a great save by Delgado. Tips it onto the post off of Cameron Lancaster's free kick. Able to knock that one on the post and keep things nil-nil. And then 90 plus three. We're wondering, do we get out of this one with at least a single goal? Lucky Oprah drives it to the left foot and drives it on to the crossbar. There was an ensuing chance just after that. Breck Evans just trying to get something into it. Rather, it was Rendon, but it was saved well by Amal Knight. Well, after a chaotic end, here are your full-time stats. Possession and shots. 
both slightly swinging in the favor of the host Lexington, but neither side able to break down the door and score their first goal of 2024. They'll have to wait for their next match for that to come. For Lexington, that's next Friday against Chattanooga. A bit more of a wait for Northern Colorado. Their next game is their Open Cup match against Tulsa Athletic on the road, their next home game at Spokane on the 23rd. We saw some new faces for both sides, a new leader for Lexington and Darren Powell, and both sides trying to get off to a good start this year, ending in a nil-nil draw. Been a lot of fun to bring you this one. For ESPN Plus, I've been Jack Edwards in the final from Georgetown, Kentucky, Lexington nil, Northern Colorado nil. This copyrighted telecast of the United Soccer League, League One, cannot be retransmitted, rebroadcast, or reproduced without the expressed written consent of the United Soccer League, League One.